Okay. It's downloading. Okay, first of all, I gotta get my intro ready. Gotta get ready for my intro. Huh? Okay, welcome back to my video. Oh, my ship's episode of Fallout 4. Episode three. <coughs> okay, Hi there. We tried to fish as many crates out of the water as we could, but it's just not enough. Looking at what we have. We might survive a month, at most. And now that I am the new Quartermaster, it is my responsibility to make sure we have the supplies to stay alive. I was hoping that maybe you could help me out. There's a federal stockpile up north. Raiders have been trying to get in. But it seems that they can't get past the main gate. There should be a password or key somewhere around there. So if you could, check that place for supplies. I'd really appreciate it. Now... If you'll excuse me, I still have some fishing left to do. Okay. Okay, since we're, since we're in a lonely chat. Should be oh there it is. Federal ration stock. Now let's get into the federal ration stockpile. Save it down here in case something doesn't last. Hey! What? Nobody's down here. Huh? Okay, great. I have to reread the entire thing. Oh well. Okay, so this is a message to all military personnel. All supplies are to be listed, collected, and shipped to the collection site Zulu. Please note that theft will be resulted in immediate disciplinary action. Convoys will be sent to collect the shipments at a yet-to-be-determined date and time. Major Thomas. Well, Major Thomas. Well. What the fuck was that? Nothing. It was nothing. No worries, it was nothing. Don't worry about me. There'll be better stuff. Okay, here we go. Hey there. Well, you sure are back fast. Did you find anything? I don't know. 
I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Wait, the army moved the supplies to some other location? Why would they do that? Do you know where they've taken it to? No idea. Well, we gotta find this place. If the army cleared out the federal stockpile, they've probably done the same with all the other stockpiles. There's a big chance we aren't talking about just food here. They could have stored weapons, ammo, medical supplies, everything. We should check the military checkpoints. Perhaps we can find some intel on where this location is. The supplies will probably be kept behind a locked door. So we also need to find a key or password to get access. I can't imagine they would just leave it on a desk somewhere. So it'll probably have been kept by whomever was in charge at the time. Okay, that's a good idea. And good thinking. Okay, so military business. Search the first military location. Who's there? Not hiding this time. No worries. I'm not here to take anything. It's Sergeant Miller's note. All supplies have been transported to the new stockpiles. Federal supply cat. A, born in E, as ordered. We are awaiting new orders. Sergeant Miller. No, don't attack. Rad. Keep your distance. Frankie. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, I'm not worried about that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <sighs> okay. Maybe it was three cans. Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. And, well, you can probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat my ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Oh, God. Sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. Okay, good. Situation report. Supply delivery. Situation report. report. Supply delivery. The convoy was ambushed at around p.m. Three, around 3 p.m. Multiple KIAs and wounded casualties, including Major Thomas, CPO Davis, Private Hall, and PVT Ryan. Immediate action is required. Door access key is still at the location. Oh dang, X01. Was 
so big moving. Oh my god. The press covert. Cases. Oh good, the stockpile facility. Oh my god, very bright. door is normally there. It's a little bit of course there'll be ghouls and
killed a whole a whole ton of you. Really? You wanna die to me like Looks like we cleared them all up. Three super sets every six. I just use it. Hey there. Hey, there you are. My knight in shining armor. Yep, that's me. So, did you find the missing supplies? I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. Sure you did, Silver Shroud. But for real, you did an amazing job. Those supplies are going to help out a lot of people. Here, take this. And I'll be sure to give you a discount if you ever need anything. I'll send out some people to collect it in the morning. I don't have anything else for you right now. But you could always ask Jake. Responder Manual 4. You've collected an issue of Responder's Manual. You can now place Responder crates and shipping crate containers in your settlement of choice. Oh, One more question, <coughs> I will probably... Hey, I've heard you found those missing supplies. Great job. And because of your help and your continuous efforts, I've decided to give you a well-deserved promotion. You are no longer a responder volunteer. Because from now on, you're a responder. I don't know if Shelly told you this, but we're planning to turn some of these supplies into rations. And then when we are ready, we will start handing out these rations back to the people who need it. Just like we did in the old days. It's been too long since we've been able to help out a community like this. So hopefully we can start soon. There is just one issue. We still don't know who was behind those initial attacks. We don't know if it was just us being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or if it was somehow organized. So I want you to do an investigation. Normally I do it myself. But I think I am too personally involved in this one. So ask around, ask people what they saw, what they heard, anything that might help us to figure out who were behind those attacks. You do that, and hopefully we can put this all behind us. Okay. Talk to Walker. Okay, so after this quest, this will be the end of the video. Hey. Hey, how you doing? The name's Walker. I've heard that you're the one responsible for finding us some new gear. You sure lifted a lot of people's spirits doing that. Why don't you tell me what happened? Ah, you mean with the raiders, right? Yeah, Jake mentioned that you might swing by to ask some questions. Well, I don't know if Jake told you this, but we used to be stationed in New York for a while. We received an emergency call a couple of weeks after the mayor kicked us out of Diamond City, so we split the group in half. One half would stay here in Boston, and the other was going to travel to New York to help out. When we got there, it was just chaos. But we managed to turn it around for the most part. Believe it or not, but things were actually good for quite a while. We even had some new people join up, like Dr. Cross over there. But then, one night, we got attacked by a group of raiders. And it was unlike anything we had seen before. And these guys weren't the type of raiders that you'll see whacked out on jet ambushing caravans. No, these guys were trained. By the time we got to our weapons, 
They had already burned most of our camp down. The damage that these guys had caused was so extensive that we had to leave our camp behind. But it didn't matter where we went. At least once a- <laughs> Hey, how you doing? The name- What? Uh, well, we were hmm. one when we- but, Right. And these guys- no, but no, mm -hmm. That's where- she, So, yeah, thanks for- no. <clears throat> Hi. I don't think we've met yet, have we? I'm Madeline- Uh-huh. I think Jake told me about you. You're the one who found those supplies in the glowing sea, aren't you? Well, I certainly owe you one, that's for sure. Can I ask you something? Sure thing. Let me guess. It's about those later attacks, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know much, really. I joined up not too long ago, when we were still in New York. I've lived there all my life, and all I ever wanted to do was help people. So when those responders showed up, it was almost like it was faith. I joined up right there and then, and my life has been changed ever since. But there was one day, uh, well, let's just say something didn't seem right. I was called in to treat a patient who said he had a broken arm, and from that moment I saw him, I knew something was off. He was covered with burns, and his arm sure as hell wasn't broken. The people who brought him into the camp told me he was a scaver. But he seemed more like a raider to me. He probably wanted to get into the camp just to see the layout. You know, to strategize. That's about it. I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Not a problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some patience to tend to. Yeah, you got that. Hi, how are you? Of course. I guess it's about those raiders, isn't it? Can I ask you some questions? I heard Jake talking to you about it earlier, so I might have overheard a thing or two. But yeah, raiders. Um, well, after you cleared out the federal stockpile that had next to nothing in it, I sent out some people to collect whatever was still there, and they came across something very interesting. They found some notes of raiders who wanted to leave their current gang behind, and instead join up with some guy named Ash. And they talked about him like he's some sort of legend. So, if these raiders are telling the truth, we might want some more guards. Oh my goodness, Ash is on there. Hey. Crazy. So, how's it going? Did you get any leads? Yeah, here you go. Damn. So... Those attacks were organized after all. But if he wanted to attack us both here and in New York around the same time, it means he has someone doing some of the work for him. And I'm not talking about his new recruits. I'm talking about a second in command. Someone who Ash trusts with his life in order to pull off a job like that. Right now, we have no idea where this Ash guy is located. And I got a feeling that his new recruits don't know either. But I bet some of his recruits know where his second in command is, though. So if we find his second in command, we'll find Ash. I'll ask Walker to send out some scouts to gather some more info on Ash and his second in command. In the meantime, I want you to focus on Ash's gang and operations. In order to keep a gang running, Ash will most likely have a couple of lieutenants working for him. Walker said that these guys weren't your ordinary type of raiders, that they were trained, which means that they'll need to have some sort of training ground somewhere, a place where they turn new recruits into lethal jet fueled killing machines. So I suggest you start there, find this place and shut it down for good. Without new recruits and without training, we'll hopefully be able to make these guys a lot less dangerous. <laughs> 